Hey all, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this beginner's guide video we will have a look at the Master of Mysticism, Doctor Strange. Now he's a very interesting character, he has a ton of utility through his skills, he's got a lot of AoE damage and his playstyle actually encourages to an extent spamming the buttons rather than using a set rotation so it really is quite different but we'll delve into all that when we do look at the skill run throughs at the end of the video. For now, what we'll look at first will be the primary attributes offensive and defensive traits, and we'll have a look at his resource as well. Starting off with the offensive trait, we have Dreamwalking. Now with this, you gain 25% to incantation powers. Many of your powers have this tag, and we'll cover some of them later on in the video. The Archetype is Strategist, currently the best Archetype in the game, because it gives you a bonus stats to both fighting and intelligence attributes. So fighting has your crit rating multiplier and intelligence has your crit damage rating. So either of them are really great to stack. For the defensive trait we have ancient training. With this you gain a 3% deflect chance. The arch type is nimble and that gives you a bonus multiplier to both deflect and dodge as well. Now looking at the resources, primary resources spirit his secondary resource is called mysticism and it's mystic energy so when you use an incantation power you generate mystic energy when mystic energy is filled your next incantation power costs no spirit and resets the cooldown of all incantation powers now your mystic energy goes up to five stacks so once you hit the five stacks the next one costs no spirit and you reset the cooldown of all of them so for that reason doctor strange is the kind of hero that you'll He's very active. You'll constantly be hitting keys and firing off skills. And through traits, you can actually slightly modify Mystic Energy to give you different bonuses. For example, you can increase the stat count up to 10 and make it more powerful. Or for example, you could have it when your Mystic Energy is full, you regain health and spirit. So there's quite a few options there. But now that we've looked at the, the core of Doctor Strange, what we'll do is have a little look at some of his costumes. As always, the first costume we look at is the default, and this one is a classic one, and it does look really quite nice since it's visual update. We then have a really quite different costume. This is from the 1602 storyline. All these costumes for different characters really are pretty great and unique. Finishing up, we look at the movie costume, and this one looks absolutely fantastic. You see all the detail in the cape, and you can see the um, agamato around his neck as well, so I really do like this a lot. The actual facial features as well, it just looks fantastic really. But let's now have a look at his signature and ultimate. For the signature, we have all seeing eye. Now this skill ties in with an artifact we mentioned just a moment ago, and that would be the Eye of Agamato. Now with this, you'll do mental damage. The duration is 15 seconds, and the cooldown is reduced by two seconds when you expend your Mystic Energy as well. It's got a high cooldown of one minute, but bear in mind what I just mentioned there, the fact you can bring down the cooldown through Mystic Energy, and also, uh, unlike many signatures and skills in the game, this is actually affected by power duration. So if you can stack that in various different ways, you can pull the duration of it up while using your Mystic Energy stacks to pull the actual cooldown down. So that can work quite well if you're able to do that. But the next skill we'll look at anyway will be his ultimate skill. For the ultimate, we have a skill called Facet of Power. Now with this, it's saying that you tap into a fragment of a legendary being, Zom. And with it, it will give you a mental damage dot. It makes you immune to cow control. You gain a whopping 50% critical hit chance. You also gain 10% health regen per second and spirit cost reduction of 100%. So it's essentially a massive steroid while at the same time giving you a mental damage dot. And on top of that, you can fire off all your skills as well without worrying about any spirit. So it really is pretty useful. Now that we've looked at all that, anyway, let's look at the actual gameplay side of things. So for the first gameplay video, we will look at the Sorcerer Supreme Tree. And this contains a lot of the incantation skills. So for this run through of the Shocker Terminal, we actually have quite a lot of skills to show off here because Doctor Strange does have a whole lot of cooldown skills. Now, the particular skills we'll concentrate on will be his incantations. And the first one we'll look at, this is Bolts of Baltac. And with this, it's mental damage and you actually gain 10% 
after using an incantation skill and it stacks up to five times so if you're firing off all your incantations you can essentially get a 50% bonus this would be a main spender and as we can see now when you use a movie costume it actually has an attack that is specific to the movie costume so that's really great the next incantation skill we look at is Crimson Bands of Citarac so this is a mental damage dot and it also immobilises the enemy as well so it's quite over a large area when you cast it you'll see all the red bands around them so it's quite a nice skill and it's on a really low cooldown we then have a nice AOE attack and this is Flames of the Foul Time this is mental damage and you'll see the big green area when you actually cast it there you go you can see that just there we then follow up with Seven Sons of Cinnabis so with this particular one you gain a 20% critical hit chance when you use it and your critical and brutal damage is buffed by 50% for that particular skill as well and it comes out in a nice cone attack so it's a pretty good trash clearing hard hitting skill there we then have demons of denak now this is another mental damage dot and enemies that are hit by this you will actually regenerate 350 health this works really great with crimson bands of citarac for the reason you can immobilize the enemy and then you throw down the demon on them to give you health back so it's a really great combination next skill it's winds of Wutumb. with this one it's a large knockback skill uh, it does a, a fairly high amount of damage as well so it's good to use if you're surrounded by a lot of enemies and need a little bit of breathing space and finishing up for the incantations we have vapors of Faltar. with this you're casting a large area mystic storm and you'll have all lightning bolts going off and hitting the enemies with it and it's a really nice looking skill there now with the incantations i'll just mention as well whitland down shocker as the way they would work is that you have your bar you can see it filling up at the moment the purple bar you've got the five stacks once you hit that you then be getting different buffs based on your actual talents that you've selected and as mentioned earlier in the video you can for example choose to buff your damage or you could even uh, choose to get spirit regain or health regain as well so it really does add an interesting aspect to them but for the next section of the video what we'll actually look at will be the more utility side of things and we'll check out some of these summon skills as well So we'll now run through the Kingpin's warehouse and face off against Dr Octopus and show off some of these rather snazzy utility skills. For this build you'd be using the uh, Fangs of Faralar which is a basic. Now the reason you want to use a skill like this is due to the next skill we look at and that's Astral Legion. So with this you'll summon other copies of Doctor Strange in effect, up to three of them with talents. They'll fire off the skills that you're actually firing off as well and they gain 50% of the damage that you're doing so it's really quite nice but for that reason you can't really use a spender with this because you would eat through the spirit far too fast so that's why we're using the fangs the next skill is icy tendrils of ichthalon if that's how you say it this has slow and weaken and through talents we can actually use this to summon a nice bruiser golem which you can see attacking as well at the moment the next three skills we look at here then are all really the utility side of things so we have images of icon and with this it's an actual taunt and it summons two versions of doctor strange the enemies will attack so this is really good if you're in a tight fix and you need to get the enemy's attention off you you then have shield of the seraphim and this is great it will regenerate health gives you a 50 percent deflect chance and the uh, deflect chance will actually apply to nearby allies as well so that's a really great skill for that reason we then have our final support skill and that is seal of the fashanti now with this you gain 20% damage bonus 20% damage resistance it's cast over a huge area and any allies that are actually in it will gain that damage bonus as well so from a team play perspective doctor strange really is pretty fantastic he can bring a lot now the final skill we look at this will tie in with all the various uh, summons of them we were casting and this is Daggers of Davaroth so with this one uh, you build up charges as you use incantations and then you fire them all off and your actual summons will fire them off as well so if you've got the full 10 charges you've got three summons fire this off as we've done just there you'll see the enemy's health go down really quick let's fire off all these skills anyway on him visually you can see he does look tremendous 
and there we go, done. So that was really good. I uh, hope you did enjoy this particular beginner's guide video. Doctor Strange is a great hero. He's he's very different, he's one, he's got a very active play style, so just do bear that in mind. But if you want to be more of a team player, then keep an eye out for him. But next up, I think we'll have a look at four. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you all again soon.